Worst case scenario projections show nearly 8,000 COVID patients could soon find themselves in an Alabama hospital. And that worst case is looking more and more like reality. Tonight, the president of the Alabama Hospital Association says this Delta variant wave is hitting as hospital ICU beds are already in short supply. Way 31's Matt Kroschel joins us with more on a major tool that healthcare workers are relying on as they try to keep people from ending up on a ventilator. And Dan, doctors are turning to antibodies made inside a laboratory. These proteins mimic the immune system's ability to fight back against COVID. And healthcare workers need all the tools they can use right now. In a little over a month's time, we have seen a seven-fold increase in hospitalizations. Right now, there are more than 1,400 patients in hospital beds, 400 people in the ICU, already just shy of 200 on ventilators. The major increase fueled by that Delta variant, it spreads much easier, and with the state falling last in the nation for total population percentage fully vaccinated, things are only going to get worse. We're pushing really hard on right now is the use of monoclonal antibodies. Uh, monoclonal antibodies could be a game changer. Uh, given early, they keep people out of the hospital. Given in people uh, who have been exposed to, a, say, a, a family member who has COVID, uh, given as pre-exposure, or excuse me, post-exposure prophylaxis, uh, they can actually prevent you from ever developing COVID. Hospitals across North already putting the brakes on elective surgeries and opening their COVID wings back up. Healthcare workers are tired, they are frustrated, and they continue to plead with people to mask up and get a vaccine. In the studio, I'm Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News.